All right, here we go. Lay it down. Tear strip. It's got an arrow. Perfect. Comes open. Opens like this. We lift it. And what do we got? MacBook Air. These bo this box, I love these dust flaps. You pull these out. And it raises the product. Anytime you get some kind of actuation like that is always amazing. Where you get that movement, you pull it out, or even still if it's closed and you grab it and you lift it, it releases. It just feels like the box is inviting you to unpack it. Then we have the box. So let's take a look here. Um, I've got a cutter, but according to this, I've got a pull tab here with an arrow, slide it open, and it, it stops there, put that in the box. Um, you know, this polyfilm here is not gonna be uh, curbside recyclable. So even though I'm putting it inside of this box, I'm gonna go ahead and put that into my uh, trash can. For opening the box, I'm gonna lift it. We count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a long wait. Inside of the box, if you can see that fabric, that's non woven polypropylene. This material is not recyclable in and of itself. The fact that it's attached to a box makes the box not recyclable. Uh, you can also look at the box here. I'll use this to kind of see if I can cut through the top layer of that material. So I've cut through here. I'm going to pull that up. I can see that this is covered up in a matte lamination. You can see the gray board underneath there, which is great, but this paper on the outside makes this box not recyclable. Then when you add the fact that there is a non-woven material on the inside, makes this box completely not recyclable. We've got this tab, you pull the tab, lifts it up. This is attached to the laptop. All right, you peel that open. Let's see what it says here. It says important, requires acceptance of blah, 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 blah. Important, important, important. It doesn't tell you that this is not recyclable. It also doesn't tell you that it is recyclable. So that's up to you. You've got this film, which is there to protect the laptop from any kind of scratching or scuffing that happens in transit. Um, this material here is not recyclable. It just, it feels like an EVA film um, as I lay it down over there. Laptop, we don't need that. Then on the inside, we've got this beautiful molded fiber insert. Um, you know, these little tabs are always amazing with, that they create here. Everything fits magically here, right? Even though these are two separate pieces that are cut separately from each other, this is not part of that. The alignment in the corner and the gluing is so precise uh, that when it comes together, it is just perfect. These guys don't need those stickers. I'm not using those either. Uh, then you've got your charger. By the time you get to here, in terms of unpacking, it's a little less important. But this is, right, so they've got a glycine wrapper over this. It means that this is not plastic. This is recyclable, but it's not like the best grade, but it is recyclable. Then this guy, we don't need that anymore. Then you get into the cable. They've got a really tight, crisp hanking going on here, so when you you, know, you un unlock that. These guys are always awesome. Um, you know, unlock this side from those tabs, and then you pull that out. This piece here, the engineering that goes into this in terms of configuring it to the in internal circumference, um, the fact that you've got this little tab here, it's folded over and reinforced, and the way that these guys come together is just uh, amazing in terms of precision. You know, this is packaging design and engineering at its finest. Cable, we don't need that. Then you've got the insert here. This insert is always, it's glued in. You've got a matte lamination on this uh, laptop box. And then you've got this molded fiber insert, which is recyclable. But if you can't get it out, you can't recycle it. On the box, it says um, blah, 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 blah. 
It's got this little symbol. It's a symbol that communicates recyclability. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can recycle this. Um, if I try to get this thing out of here, you can see in the corners there is glue happening. You can see how difficult this is to separate from for one person, imagine this going through a recycling center. Nobody's going to separate these pieces. You see how hard it was for me to separate this thing out? A machine's not going to do this. You've got a molded fiber insert on the outside, which is completely fiber, which this piece can be recycled. Uh, when you look at and you flip it over, you've got the molded fiber insert. You've got this corrugated structure. This here acts as a foot to support those products. Um, this whole structure in here is amazing. But the fact that these two guys are laminated together isn't that big of a problem. But the fact that it's laminated or glued to the inside of this box that has a film lamination on it means all of the work that went into finding and sourcing sustainable materials goes out the door. This will not be recycled. This is trash. So this doesn't communicate how to recycle this box. It doesn't explain that you have to rip the entire insert out in order for this to be recyclable curbside. Uh, it may be recyclable somewhere else, but not here. Apple's known for its amazing design, engineering. Uh, their packaging is beautiful and works flawlessly. It just doesn't communicate sustainability. Um, and when you open this up, We hear that sound that we love. And again, you can hear that. Some type of uh, glycine slash tissue paper that covers the screen and we're ready to go.